number patterns. What are the missing numbers? You can see a picture. 14, 12, 10. So 14 subtract 2 is 12. 12 subtract 2 is 10. 10 subtract 2 is 8. 8 subtract 2 is 6. 6 subtract 2 is 4. Objectives of the lesson. Develop the general term of a number pattern with the same difference between adjacent terms. Second one, develop the number pattern when the general term is known. Third one, solve problem associated with number pattern. You can see a picture. Number patterns 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25. The rule is at 5. Example 1, complete the number pattern. Then write the rule 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, rule is at 4. Complete the number pattern, then write the rule, 84, 74, 64, 54, 44, 84 subtract 10 is 74, 74 subtract 10 is 64, 64 subtract 10 is 54, 54 subtract 10 is 44. What is the rule? Subtract 10. You can see some number patterns. 3, 3, 3, 3. All the numbers are same. Second one, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Rule is at 2. Third one, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. At 3. Fourth one, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, so what is the rule multiply by 2? What is a term in a number pattern? Definition. The numbers of a number pattern are called terms. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here the terms of the above number pattern are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. In the above number pattern, first term is 2. Second term is 4. Third term is 6. What is the number sequence? Definition. In mathematics, number patterns are called number sequence. Number patterns are called number sequence. The numbers in red are in the first sequence or first number pattern. The numbers in green are in the second sequence. That is second number pattern. What is the common difference in a number pattern? Definition. Common difference equal any term except the first term. Subtract the previous term. To 4, 6, 8, 10 is a number pattern. Here the common difference. How are we going to find the common difference? 4, take 4. What is the previous term? 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. Take 6. What is the previous term? 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Take 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. See, this is constant. All over the sequence. It is also called the constant value. That is constant value. 
common difference. Another question. 10, 7, 4, 1. So if you want to find the common difference, the term subtract from the next term. 7 minus 10. 7 minus 10 is minus 3. Take 4. What is the previous term? Previous term is 7. So 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Take 1. What is the previous term? 4. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So common difference is minus 3. If the first term is 7 and the common difference is minus 2, the number pattern or the sequence would be first term 7, 7 minus 2 is 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1. If the first term is 8 and the common difference is 5, the first term is 8, common difference is plus 5. So second term is 8 plus 5, 13. Next term is 13 plus 5 is 18. So 18 plus 5 is 23. What is the general term of number pattern for a sequence? General term of a number sequence is Tn. Tn means n term. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. In the above number sequence, first term is T1. T1 is 2. Second term is T2. T2 is 4. Third term is T3. T3 is 6. The n term is Tn. Developing the number sequence when the general term is given. Example 1. Consider the number sequence with general term Tn equals 4n minus 2. When the first three terms of write the first three terms of this sequence. Second one, find the third term. Third one, which term is equal to 34. Fourth one, find the n plus 1 term in terms of n. Answer for the first question. Since the general term t n equal 4n minus 2. When n equals 1, the first term t1 equals 4 into n mean n is 1. 4 into 1 minus 2. 4 into 1, 4. 4 minus 2 equal to 2. When n equals 2, the second term t2 4 into 2 minus 2, 8 minus 2 is 6. When n equal 3, the third term t3, 4 into n is 3, 4 into 3, 12, 12 minus 2 is 10. So the answer would be 2, 6, 10. Answer for the second question. The third year term is obtained by substituting n equal 30, the 30th term, t equal t30, 30th term equal 4n minus 2, n is 30, 4 into 30 minus 2 is 120, minus 2 is equal to 118, therefore 30th term is 118. Answer for the third question, let's Assume that the n term is 34. Then 4n minus 2 is 34. The n term is 34. Tn equals 34. So we want to cancel minus 2. 4n minus 2 plus 2. 34 plus 2. I added plus 2. I added 2 to both sides. 4n equals 36. n equal 36 divided by 4 equal 9. Therefore, 34 is the 9th term of the number pattern. Answer for the fourth question. In order to obtain n plus 1 term, let's substitute n plus 1 for n. The n plus 1 term is n become n plus 1. We know Tn equal 4n minus 2. 
so n is d n plus 1 equal 4 n plus 1 minus 2 so 4 into n 4 n 4 into 1 4 minus 2 4 n plus 2 therefore the n plus 1 term in terms of n is 4 n plus 2 example 2 Consider the number pattern with general term Tn equals 56 minus 4n. Write the first three terms of this number pattern. Second one, find the twelfth term. Third one, show that 0 is a term of this number pattern. Fourth one, show that 18 is not a term of this number pattern. Answer for this question number 1. Since the general term Tn equal 56 minus 4 in, if you want to find the first term, n is 1. So Tn equal 56 minus 4 into 1. 56 minus 4 is 52. When n equal 2, the second term T2 equals 56 minus 4 into 2 equals 56 minus 8 equal 48. When n equal 3, the third term T3 equals 56 minus 4 into 3, 56 minus 12 equals 44. Therefore, the first three terms of the numbers pattern are 52, 48 and 44. Answer for the question number 2. The twelfth term equal T12, 56 minus 4 into n, 4 into 12, 56 minus 48 equal 8. Answer for the question number 3. If 0 is a term of the number pattern, then for some integer n, we have 56 minus 4n equal 0, Why t n equal 0. I want to make in the subject what I did. I cancel minus 4 in this side 56 minus 4 in plus 4 in so 0 plus 4 in is 4 in 56 equal 4 in 56 divided by 4 equal to n n equal 40 the 14 term of a number pattern is 0 therefore 0 is a term of this number pattern answer for the question number 4 if 18 is a term of this number pattern, then for some integer n, we have 56 minus 4 equal 18. Why t n equals 18? Then 56 minus 4 n plus 4 n equal 18 plus 4 n. I cancel minus 4 n. 56 equals 18 plus 4 n. I want to cancel 18. I subtract 18 from both sides. 56 minus 18, 18 minus 18 plus 4n, 38 equal to 4n, n equals 9.5 mean 9 and half. So there is no number 9 and half number. So 18 is not the term of this number pattern. The value of n should be a whole number since n equal 9.5. Obtain an expression for the general term Tn. Example 1. The number pattern is 1, 4, 7, 10. The common difference is 4 minus 1, 3. So what are we going to do? If you want to find the first term, take 1. 1 multiplied by the common term. Common difference. 1 multiplied by the common difference 3, we want to make 1. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Second term, take 2. 2 multiplied by the common difference. 2 into 3 is 6. From 6, we want to make 4. What we should do? 6 minus 2 is 4. Third term, take 3. 3 into 3, 9. We want to make 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. You can see here. Uh, number pattern. There is a pattern. The n term is n into 3 minus 2, 3n minus 2. 
the term multiply by the common term and add or subtract a number you will get the number look at second example obtain an expression for the general term 8642 you want to find the common difference 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is minus 2 the common difference is minus 2 you want to find the first term first term is 8 what take 1 1 into minus 2 minus 2 so add 10 Ten minus two is eight, so you you have to put ten here. The second term two into minus two minus four. Ten minus four is six. Correct. The third term is three into minus two minus six. Minus six plus ten is four. We want to find the term n minus two plus ten. N minus two is minus two n plus ten. So the n term is minus two n. Plus ten. Practice question. The seats in an outdoor stadium are arranged for a drama in fifteen rows, according to a pattern with a common difference, such that the first row consists of nine seats, the second row of twelve seats, the third row of fifteen seats. How many seats are there in total in the first five rows? Second one. How many seats are there in the fifteenth row? Third one. Show that the tenth row has four times the number of seats in the first row, according to this pattern. Which row consists of fifty-one seats? That is the last question. Answer for the question number one: nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. So they have given first first row consists of nine seats, second row of twelve seats, third row fifteen seats. So what is the common difference? Twelve minus nine three. So nine plus three is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen. Fifteen plus three is eighteen. 18 plus 3 is 21. So, if you want to find the total number of seats in the first five rows, 9 plus 12, 12 plus 15 plus 18 plus 21 equals to 75 seats. Answer for the second question. Find the general term. The first term is 9, second term is 12, third term is 15. So common difference is three. We want to find the first term. Take one, one into three. One multiplied by the common difference three. From three we want to make nine. So you have to add a number. What is the number you have to add? Six. One into three, three, three plus six is nine. Second term, take two. Two multiplied by three, six. We want to make twelve. So six plus six is twelve. If you want to find the third term, take three. Three multiplied by the common difference three into three nine. If you want to make fifty, you have to add six. So if you want to find the term n multiplied by three plus six, the n term is three in plus six. If you want to find the fifteenth row, the number of seats in the fifteenth row, n is fifty. So what? Three into fifteen plus six, or fifteen in three plus six. Equal to fifty one. Answer for the question number three. T n equal three n plus six. The tenth term is t ten. So three into n is ten. Three into ten thirty. Thirty plus six thirty six. The number of seats in the first row is nine. The number of seats in the tenth row is thirty six. So nine into four is thirty-six. Therefore, the tenth row has four times the number of seats in the first row. Answer for the question number three. Which row consists of fifty-one seats? T n equal three n plus six. So t n is given fifty-one. 
3 in plus 6 is equal to 51. We want to cancel plus 6, 3 and plus 6 minus 6 equal to 51 minus 6. So 3 in equal to 45 divided by 3 both sides in equal to 45 over 3 is 15. The 15 row consists of 51 seats. Uh, you have to do the homework, lesson number 1, 1.1, question number 3 and 4, question number, uh, lesson number 1, 1.2 exercise, C, D and E, uh, exercise 1.3, second question and third question. Thank you.